we cannot, should not, take any particular segment of, or I'll say sector, of the economy that has gone up dramatically and, and say that, you know, we're, we have inflation. We have to start seeing all commodities in general starting to creep up, not for a day, not for a week, not for a month. There has to be a trend. And when we see a trend, some would consider a trend five months. I would consider it four months. But when we see the trajectory continuing to go up and new balances starting to come in, then I think we can say we have an inflation problem. I don't think inflation, it's going to be hard for inflation to go up dramatically and quickly when we have interest rates at 2%. It's just, it's just going to be hard. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not in the camp like everybody else on Wall Street and all the other analysts that believe you can't have ever have inflation without interest rates going up. I don't believe that. I believe that you can have organic inflation. You can have inflation based on economic circumstances that we may be in. So I'm not saying that can't happen, but right now based on the economic circumstances, it is unlikely. And if it did happen, I think it would be somewhat, Would I don't know that I would think it is, but I think it would have to be classified as transitory, um, you know, temporary. I, I don't, you know, based on what is happening. Now, wait a minute. If we start to see bubbles in housing markets, if we start seeing mortgage rates continue to climb, we've had a couple of weeks of interest rates going up. If that continues to happen and, you know, a couple other factors, uh, oil continues to stay high. By the way, this is not an inflationary number. Let's not get, uh, let's not misunderstand. $60 a barrel oil is not inflationary. One could even make an argument that it's somewhat normalized uh, as opposed to inflationary. Um, but we get very quickly, we get a distorted view of things. Because oil has been so cheap for so long, we think the cheap for so long is the normal. No, the cheap for so long is abnormal. It is abnorm it's abnormally low. Um, so now... We are seeing normalization come into that. Now, if we don't pick up growth, I'm not counting first quarter GDP number, so we're not going to get excited. I don't care what it is. It's not going to be anything I'm going to get excited about. I'm just telling you. The markets will because they're still on their Biden high. So they will, but they're not... You know, they're, they're, it, it'll be irrational. So we can't get a high on, we, look at last year and what we have to make up. Of course, GDP is going to be a good number. But they're talking about it as if something's happened to make it a good number. Getting out of a global pandemic is not something that's happening in the economy. It's just getting out of a terrible situation and allowing hopefully, people to go back to work. We can't look at that and say, well, man, the economy is thriving. What economy? It's not thriving. That's not a thriving economy. That is going to, or no, that should open the door to get back to a fundamentally strong economy. Will it? I don't know. Remains to be seen. I have my thoughts about that, but it's gonna to remain to be seen. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't wanna miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.